Hi guys, welcome back to the garage for video number two post Christmas. Um, I this is going to be an unboxing. I got this tarot actually a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and I just have not had an opportunity to get to it. There's been so much else going on, and plus I think there are a couple more tarot tags I want to do. Um, but I thought I would shove this unboxing in since it's driving me crazy. Um, so here it is. <sighs> The Ship of Fools Tarot. Now, this is an out-of-print deck. I really don't know much about it other than uh, I saw the cards and I just thought they were great. And so, yeah, I went for it. Um, so it is called The Ship of Fools Tarot by Brian Williams. Uh, inspired by the art of Sebastian Brandt's Nerenschiff. We'll find out more, hopefully. Um, let's see, it says here, the back says, From court jesters to stand-up comedians, fools have always had something to teach us about the world we live in. As tricksters and social commentators, fools reflect our fears and foibles, our triumphs and tragedies. In recent years, the fool has become a pivotal figure in tarot. Many view the fool as a representation of the innocent soul traversing the archetypal landscape of the major arcana on the hero's journey toward enlightenment. Holy smokes. Hold on, guys. Oh, maybe it's not on this street. Maybe it is. Hold on. I have no idea what that noise is. It sounds like the street sweeper, but we usually don't get one of those down here. Oh, it was on the other street down the down the corner. He's gone now, so I thought he was going to come through and just completely muffle me. Anyway, based upon German Renaissance literary classic Das Nerenschiff, or The Ship of Fools, this deck created by noted tarot artist and scholar Brian Williams puts the fool center stage. Featuring fools on every card, the Ship of Fools tarot retains the traditional tarot structure of 22 major arcana and 56 minor arcana cards, with the minor arcana divided into four suits of swords, staves, cups, and coins. The Book of Fools included in this kit was specifically written to accompany the deck. It includes descriptions and interpretations for each of the 78 cards. A detailed comparison of each card's similarities and differences with its counterparts in the classic Marseille and Rider Waite Smith tarot decks, and several unique methods for reading with this foolish deck. I like it already. It's by a German author. I am half German. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's get into the box. So it is just a, you know, a big, huge, fluffy tuck box. Um, and here is the book. And then on top are the cards in the package. And what is, what is this? Oh, this is the insert. For the box and on the insert it actually has oh look at this it says the it can be the box here I'm gonna hold it up the box can actually uh, be used uh, to hold your tarot cards because you can detach it from from this placard and then they give you some uh, information about uh, caring for your for your tarot cards how cool is that how novel instead of Having a not useful box, we have a fairly useful box, which I'm not going to use. <laughs> Although I highly doubt I will be getting ready, rid of this deck anytime soon. Uh, I don't want to break it apart. So, all right, here we go. New book. Hmm. Doesn't really have any doesn't have that classic new book smell so I'm not sure but it was um, before I took it off it had cellophane wrap around the outside so I know nobody's been into it so 
Um, all right, let's let's see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Brian Williams was an artist, author, tarot lecturer, and Italian expert. His divinatory decks have marked him as one of America's most prominent and prolific tarot artists. Ooh. His other decks include the Renaissance Tarot. Oh, I have that. Postmortem Tarot, Angel Journey, and the Minciati Tarot. Now, I've heard of the Minciati um, and the Postmortem, but not the Angel Journey. So, obviously, we're going to have to look into these things here because, you know, you have one, you got to have them all, right? Okay, so <laughs> let's see. The book. The book. Uh, da -da. Introduction goes right into the major minor arcana, reading the cards. Um, okay. Ooh, several pages. Okay, so it looks like they give you a picture of the card, and then there's a little bit of a write up, and then on the next page, they give you the variations from the uh, Marseille and Rider Waite um, with plenty more information on, um, wow, this is going to be a good book, I can see. So that is how they work it for the, um, for the majors. Okay, the minors, the minors are smaller. They only have about um, a half a page here. Well, not a half, a quarter of a page. And then on the, the back side, they have the, um, the comparing the two, the Marseille and the Rider Waite. So that is that. They have, oh, we have a few spreads in the back. We have the usual Celtic cross. What do they call it? They don't. Oh, they do. Celtic cross. Oh, that's all they have. That's the only that's the only spread they have back in in, in the book is the Celtic cross. So, all right, let's get it. Ooh. Oh, need to need to me skizzers for this one. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so the first thing I see is oh okay they have the Celtic cross spread here laid out and they also have the exquisite corpse which is another tarot spread that's kind of cool in cards they're very laminated um, card stock is pretty good pretty you know flexible I'd say um, These are the backs of the cards. And they're kind of a off off yellow. They're not an, I wouldn't call, well, maybe it would be called an ivory. Maybe it's an ivory color. It's not sepia. It's not deep enough to be sepia. But, um, yeah, they're not in color. They're just like um, brown and white drawings. But there is the, uh, the foal, which is the vagabond in this deck. The Untabank Magician. Obviously we have some Italian names going on here. The Pepes, which is the High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. Pope, or the Hierophant, mm. love, which of course is the lovers, the cart, chariot, justice, With the lovely jester there. There are jesters in every uh, every card. Hermit. I'm going to be interested to read the book and see how this this plays out, how the jesters play into 
every single one of the cards. So. Okay. <laughs> Trying to wrestle a donkey. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> ah. ah, the hanged man. Now, I believe in doing what Simon does, which is he, he turns it right side up or upside down to kind of get a better perspective on the, uh, the man's face so you can see what's going on. I think that's a great idea. He's not exactly happy about being dive-bombed by these, uh, these birds. So <laughs> oh, death. That says, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Temperance. Ah, the devil, the devil. The tower. <laughs> the stars. The moon. Carry the world on your back. Some days it feels like that, doesn't it? Okay, so there's the major. So here we go. Here's the Ace of Swords. Two. Oh my. Three. Mm -hmm. She's cutting his hair. Hmm. She's cutting his hair. Is he dead? Is she trying to maybe, I don't know. Presentable, perhaps. Four of Swords. Five. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <coughs> I think I might need to read the book a little bit to get some more insight. Because some of the cards I'm just like, huh? Queen of Swords. That's Jester's hat on the floor. And the King of Swords. All right, we have the Ace of Staves. Two. I still love the artwork. Maybe I just need to, you know, sit with it and really look at the cards. I mean, this is really just a quick glance through for both you and me. So, um, yeah. Page of Wands. Ta ta. There's a message. The Knight. Queen. And the king. All right. Cups. Here we go. Ace of Cups.
It's a party. I wonder if that's where the term uh, he's in his cups came from. Huh? Because a lot of these have to, the cups I've noticed have to do with drink. And of course, when someone's had a lot to drink, or at least that's the saying here in the States, is he's in his cups. Um, which means he's had too much. <laughs> Oh boy, you riding a lobster. Well, if that ain't something. <laughs> oh, the queen. And the king. Last one, ace of coins, pentacles. This is Simon's suit. There's the two. And now that Aveline mentioned it, I can't stop thinking about when I see the two of cups, the, the plate spinners from the circus. <laughs> so. Yes, the two of coins is now my plate spinner card. So here's the five of pentacles. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's... Ew. Dogs are licking his wounds. Yeah. Six. Seven. Or is that a pig? Is that a pig cow? Is it a boar, maybe? Maybe that's supposed to be a boar. Because it looks like a pig. It's got the little squirrely tail and the nose, but he's bigger. Ooh. Queen of coins. Look at that little weasel. <laughs> and then the king of coins. All right, guys, so there you have it, the walkthrough, talk through on the Book of Fools, or the Book of Fools, the Ship of Fools Tarot, da da da, out of print, Brian Williams, and um, I'll be looking at his other decks. All right, guys, much love, see you next time.